Hello, my name is Luis Estrada, and I'm a software developer. In this video, I'll show you how to stop Internet Explorer from automatically downloading files. Internet Explorer is a registered trademark of Microsoft, and I have no affiliation with Microsoft. Sometimes when you are downloading large files from the Internet, your connection gets interrupted, and you have to start the download from the beginning. Imagine downloading a 2 gigabyte file, and when you are at 99%, your internet connection fails, or you run out of battery. That can be a little frustrating. Well, to solve this, you can use a download manager. This kind of program allows your computer to pause and resume almost any download. It also makes a much faster download than if you use a regular web browser. One of the most popular download managers is Download Accelerator Plus, developed by the company Speedbit. This product is free and you can download it at speedbit.com. Once you have installed this program, you can configure it to manage all your downloads. This prevents Internet Explorer from automatically downloading the files. To configure this program, click on the Tools tab, then select Options. Go to Advanced. Here you have the possibility of integrating the application to your browser. Select the first option to integrate it to your Internet Explorer. Notice that the dialog box warns you about restarting Internet Explorer for changes to take effect. This way, you can configure Download Accelerator to manage only certain types or files. For example, only movies or MP3 files, but not pictures and Word documents. For that, press the Manage Extensions button. Type the extensions that you want this application to manage, leaving a space between them. The other option is to press the Default button. Now you see a list of all the file types that will be downloaded automatically using this program. If you don't want to include one, just erase it. Click on OK. Restart your browser, and you are ready to enjoy better downloads. I'm Luis Estrada, and I've just shown you how to use your web browser.